all these hoes to know that a What's up guys, have you nine? Back with another video and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about six things super self ruled out, but still added in Clash Royale anyways. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanted to announce that I have a giveaway going. All you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, leave your social security number, date of birth, mother's maiden name, height, eye color, your uncle's favorite song, and donate $5. The last one is very mandatory. That's literally all you have to do. Now, but seriously guys, for my giveaway, which I do every month, just like and comment and you're entered. Don't worry about all the BS that other YouTubers tell you to do because yeah, just don't worry about it. So back to the topic, Supercell tends to outrule a lot of things in the game, but changes their minds frequently too. For example, Clash of Clans had two heroes for three years and they had outruled a new hero. And surprisingly, in the end of 2015, they added the Grand Warden, along with some weird bird defense. I don't, I don't even know. Clash of Clans also outruled things like special gem packs, special challenges, and even a new town hall. And what do you know? We have all that. Now for Clash Royale, there is a huge list of outrule futures, which I made a video on right here in the top right corner. And a lot of people were commenting saying, yo, we already have that. So bad video, dislike. But things tend to get added anyways, even if they're outrule because Supercell just like I said, changes their mind. So with that being said, first up is going to be donating epic cards. When the game came out back in January 1999, I mean 2016, we had no legendaries. Epic cards were the hottest shit you could have. And because of that, Supercell outruled the future of being able to donate them, which was okay because nobody wanted everyone running around with the level six golem so soon. But flying way past the entire year onto December, we can now donate epic cards. Every Sunday, that is. The only reason this was added, though, was because we have way too many legendaries now, and epics are becoming rare, and rare cards are becoming as common as anything gets. So as more legendary cards are added, we may see another day of the week that we can now donate epics. Or we may even get a chance to donate one legendary a month. You know, when the season ends or starts, who knows? I know it sounds crazy, but one year ago, people thought donating epics was like crazy like it would never happen next up is going to be muting taunts supercell for a very long time promised that they would never let us mute taunts and they were very certain that this would never happen never just never i want to say never again because i know i said it like five times so never they wrote a letter letting us know or well not a letter but it was a forum post letting us know that this would never happen and yeah but a few months later, they made a new post explaining that this was very wrong on them and that they heard the community roaring for this ability and they did, kind of. You can now mute taunts, but only by like 90%. You can still see them sending a taunt, but you can't hear the sound or see what they're sending, which is 10 times better than before. On to number three we have is clan challenges. Back before challenges and before tournaments, all you could do is battle that's it win trophies lose trophies and donate that was a typical day of a clash royale player and for some reason supercell had outruled clan related challenges instead they wanted to go towards the tournament side of things which was good everyone loved the tournaments even though they were buggy and broken and yes you could create a private tournament and play with your clan but there was really no in-clan challenge that gave everyone rewards. But not so long ago, Supercell introduced the clan chest, which we win by battling in the ladder and earning more crowns will get everyone a better chest in the end. This is pretty cool and I myself love it. But a few months ago, this was never seen as a possible future. Fourth on this list is going to be getting a reward for hitting a new arena. So let's be honest here, there is no real reward besides achievements which give enough gems for, I don't know, 10 pieces of gold or a classic challenge maybe. But the special packs that pop up upon reaching a new arena are technically our reward. You see, the thing is, the packs that show up usually give you a two or even up to eight times the value of a regular pack, which is pretty much giving you a free chest or free gold for purchasing a regular pack of gems. The real reward here is just saving you a ton of money. While this may not seem like a real reward, people who just received a iTunes card for a giveaway, for example, me, cough, cough, they're in for a huge reward when reaching a new arena because 
they typically only cost like a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars. So yeah, now back to the outworld part. Yeah, Supercell has no intentions of any type of reward besides the packs for a while. Eventually, I'm pretty sure they will add new or even free, like completely free rewards. But for now, it is what it is. Number five is a win card that can blow troops back. When we think of this, the first thing that probably pops up on your head is the air sleeper from Clash of Clans. But no, oh, there is a car that does this already, and it's the Tornado. Not only you can blow or just drag troops back, but you can also drag them to the left, right, or even forward. This was not outruled completely, but was marked as no plans yet, which pretty much means they had no intentions of creating a car that can do this. And now what do you know, we have a Tornado that can drag troops, which pretty much is blowing troops back. And finally, number six is a troop that increases the damage of troops around it when it dies. Now this is not in the game. There's no troop that does this, but the Lumberjack is really the same thing. You see, the Rage in Clash of Clans is not the same as the Rage in Clash Royale. In COC, it increases damage and speed, and in Clash Royale, it only does speed. This is because if it did both in Clash Royale, it would be a very OP card. Like imagine like raging a P.E.K.K.A and it does more speed and more damage. The tower would go down instantly. So back to the Lumberjack, he technically does not increase the damage of anything around him, but at least it feels like it. If a Lumberjack dies next to a P.E.K.K.A, the P.E.K.K.A would rape the tower. So even though damage is not increased, it still very feels like it and can be seen as this feature already being added. But that is pretty much it guys for today's list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Eventually they will add more out real futures, Maybe like donating legendaries in 2020 or something, I don't know, but yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you guys think below in the comment section. I'm you, too. See you on the next one. Peace!